I'm the Bearded Eagle, and today we're going to try to catch a fish on Eagle Lake with a boat, with an RC boat. So stick with me, it's going to be fun. Here's everything I'm going to use for my RC boat fishing rod. So, this is just a piece of metal that I don't throw away because I can use this stuff. So I can make this into the fishing rod. We're going to mount it on the back of the boat. Got a couple of hooks here with small leaders. We're going to tie those onto the ends. I'm going to drill a couple holes in the back here to stabilize the fishing rod using kind of like gardening wire. First things first, we're gonna look on the other side and make sure that we're not gonna get in any of the way of the moving parts here. And this is the trunk that kind of covers the battery compartment and motor. I wanna make sure I don't get in the way of these. It looks like we'll be good. Alright, up next we're going to put that middle pin, the, what's cut off there, we're going to stick that in the middle hole here. We're going to run a little piece of wire through those holes, wrap it around our metal here. And what I was thinking I might do is uh, make a small bend, like right here on either side of the middle. And that way it can't slide from side to side, I'll put a small bend in there. I think that'll keep it more centered um, so we can focus on catching fish. Okay. And so we're going to repeat that process on the other side. So you can see I've kind of made it a W instead of ever a U, whatever it was. So I think that'll work a lot better. We're just gonna put that through there. Okay. And we're just gonna twist those up to give it a nice strongish connection to the boat. Try it. Okay, so there's the top, top side. And looks like the lock barely hits on this little knob. So I'm gonna shave that down. So what I'll do actually is I'll file it. Let's test it. So now the lock can lock. The rod doesn't move. The rod, don't you like how I keep calling it a fishing rod? Well, it's about to be. All you have to do is put a hook and string on it and then it becomes a fishing rod, you know? One design consideration that I just thought of is that, you know, if I catch a fish on one side of the, you know, one of the hooks, 
it's going to want to pull down. So it's going to want to tip the boat over. If the boat tips over too much, I'm going to lose power and all my control. So what I think I'll do is cut up some of this, just this uh, insulation and whatever. Cut a couple pieces of this, tighten it up, shorten these. So maybe, maybe they'll be half the length. Just to keep, keep all the center of your, the weight in close to the middle. I don't want to have a lot of weight out to the outside. So I think the combination of these floating under the rod on each side, as well as shortening these uh, will help quite a bit. So let's cut this up and we will do what I just described. Maybe we'll do a montage. As easy as that. Okay. This is cool. Now, I filed that down a little bit. I forgot to test it. Let's do that real quick. Make sure everything's good here. Okay, I think I'm going to bend these up just a hair. 30 degrees or so. I bent those up mainly because I don't want to put extra tension on this clip. When you push this down, it gets, it's got like a foam water seal around the edge. These we're starting to push on the boat, which is going to add tension to this little plastic clip in here. We have a lot riding on this little plastic clip. Okay, now it's shutting. So now it's locked. We're done tweaking. Now we can put on the fishing stuff. Fishing thingies. I'm just using bait hooks because they're all tied up already. Let's do the fisherman's knot for a good measure. Okay. Put it around our finger. Tag in just through the finger hole. Back through the loop we just made. Don't have any idea if we can see this. Okay, glorified slip knot. Now we're gonna put that on here. Okay, one, one hook is ready. What do we have, two foot leaders? I think that seems fair. Hook number two. Secure it to the fishing boat. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this little guy, two ounce weight, hopefully it doesn't sink the boat. We're gonna cover them in tape, except we're gonna cover them in tape, sticky set out. Okay, we're just going to set it down in the bottom of the boat. And I'm going to go directly down to the nose cone to the fuselage of, the, of our watercraft fishing vessel. It's a fishing vessel. Okay, so that won't slide. It's going to stay there. It's a bearded eagle fishing boat. Let's get this thing in the water and catch a fish. Okay, make sure the power's on. Okay, 
the two dangly bits of worm. Just gonna toss it into the water. Okay, I like it so far. Oh, it's reversed. Throttle reverse. Oh, we already got a fish. <laughs> Grab it, Annie. All right, Annie's gonna get it. <laughs> definitely a fish out there. Get it, good girl. Bring it in. Bring it in. Come on, bring it in. Here, get it, get it. Annie, get it, get it. Get it, bud, get it, Annie, get it. Good, get it. Good girl. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Bring it here. Good girl. Good girl. Well, that didn't take long. Oh, it's a double. <laughs> it doesn't get much better than this, guys. Look at that. That was too funny. That was the first time I threw it in the water. You guys were watching. Took my worm. One back in the water. Two back in the water. Well, it was great success. Thanks for joining me. If you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more things like this, hit that subscribe button. Share it out with your friends. Leave a comment. Let me know what I'm doing stupid. And uh, see you in the next one. Bearded Eagle, out.